Back in March, it was reported that Daniil Hunter was not happy with his current contract. That's after missing the 2020 season, a.k.a. Tweetgate, recovering from neck surgery. And now he's not at OTA. So is there a standoff between the Vikings and the superstar pass rusher? No, there is not. This is OTAs we're talking about. Organized team activities, which are voluntary. They're not mandatory, but they're encouraged. Meaning, if you're a rock star like Daniil Hunter and you skip OTAs, then from the standpoint of the front office and coaching staff, yeah, we're bummed out. We wish he were here, but what else are we going to do besides bitch and moan privately? Are we going to punish him? Are we going to make an example out of him in front of everyone else? No. Now, conversely, if you're not one of the top producers on the team and you skip OTAs or back in back in my old job in sales, it's the equivalent of voluntary Saturdays, and you know you're potentially on the bubble or in my line of work on the radar, you skip OTAs, then you're looked at funny. Oh, he's not dedicated to his job. You're not part of the team. And it gives your supervisor any reason after that to look to fire you. It's such bullshit, but that's the politics of the job. So if we're talking about right now, oh my God, is there a standoff? No, it's OTAs. It's fine. Relax. Now, if we get the training camp and he's a no-show, then okay, it's time to panic. I've said before that Daniil Hunter has been grossly underpaid relative to his production, but if the Vikings find themselves in a situation where Daniil Hunter is absent, potentially, from mandatory team activities looking for a new contract coming off neck surgery. So, I haven't seen you play football for a whole year. I'm assuming your rehab is going well. You're posting pics on Instagram and all that stuff. But I haven't seen it for myself. And you want me to fork up more money right now? If there was no injuries, no surgery, this wouldn't even be a discussion. Pay this man his money. Make a deal happen. But that's not the reality of the situation that we're in right now. Or force his hand. Call his bluff. You want to hold out? Go ahead. Hold out. And if he does, then okay, I'm willing to trade you only if I get the Khalil Mack return. Two first round picks and a third. And I'm taking nothing less. Oh, that sounds ridiculous. What team is going to give up multiple first round picks for a player whose health is in serious question right now? Well, if I don't get those offers, I'm not trading him at all. Because if I sell it too short and he does return back to the Daniil Hunter full health that we all know and love, then that's a lose-lose situation for the Vikings. I sold my AMC stock, what, two weeks ago? Wasn't doing shit for months, like fourteen fifty a share. Now, all of a sudden, it's at 20 bucks a share. I got something in return, but I I just feel dirty about it. Like, I need to take a shower. AMC stock is the equivalent of the Neil Hunter if you are the Minnesota Vikings. You don't budge on this situation, but right now, there's nothing to bitch and moan about. There are no questions. It's OTAs. It's voluntary. Let's see what happens in training camp, and we'll take it from there. Next video is tomorrow. We'll see you then.